This has just come for you. Is it from Ivan? We'll open it and then you'll know, won't you? A bit sarky this morning, aren't you? Well, it won't kill you for five minutes. Oh, you don't know that, Mrs. Dumbarton. I know for a fact she doesn't think I went to a funeral yesterday afternoon. Well, you did. Oh, it's no good. I can't fasten this. Well, try a safety pin. What do you think I am doing? You can have a lend of... Oh, come here, I'll do it. Hey, Mum, have you got a spare minute at dinner time? Will you go and find out how much them proper ones, them that are just are? I'll ring down to the mother to be department. But you can't get discount. Well, I don't see why not. I thought you can only get a discount on things for yourself. Oh, well, who's to know it's not me? It's on your neck. Well, what's he got to say? Nothing much. Oh, I see. Two pages of nothing much. He says, do I think Norma's a nice name? What for? What do you think for? No, I suppose it's all right if it's a girl. Oh, he's made up his mind about that as soon as he knew he were out buying pink matinee jackets. What else? He says, do you know when I'm going home? Well, when are you? I don't know. Do you want to see the back of me? Is that what you're getting at? Do I, Eckers, like? Oh, yes, you are. You went and did it last night, and now you've come out into the open. I only wanted to know for buying in, that's all. You've said it now, so there's no good pretending you haven't. I've said nothing yet. It's a fine thing when a daughter can't come and visit her mother at a time like this. You know very well you're welcome here. That's all yes, I it can... it sounds say. like it, doesn't it? I heard every word at 8 o'clock news. You had programme parade on full blast, and now it's pair of you shouting your daft heads off with blasted lobby door open. Have you finished? Finished? Not no Now, look here, you. If I'd have come upstairs and deliberately done a tap dance outside your bedroom door, I'd have been quite with him, right? Do you know what time it was you got in last night? I got in when I finished work. Half past three. The all night buzzes door on every five minutes. You'd have plenty to say if I started taxing it. Anyway, how old do you think I am? What business is it of yours? What time I choose to come home? You can stop out all night for all I care, but I think it's a bit much when I'm just dozing off after being tossing and turning, and the banging starts. Bang, clatter, bang, bang, bang. Front door, oven, biscuit tin. What game did you think you were playing anyway? I have a right to look for someone eating me own house, haven't Your I? house's house is mine. Luke, I've got a split in it. Drop it, will you? My dad were in club again last night. Oh? Give me a cigarette lighter. Mm, that's more than he ever gave me. What was wrong with it? Nothing. We had all pocket full. Get some from Ireland or somewhere. Did he, um, ask about me? Oh, yeah. What did he say? Nothing much. What does he look like? Fair to middling. Don't tell me anything, will you, Dennis? Didn't think you were interested. Well, I'm not, so don't flatter yourself. What are you asking for, then? Well, here's her husband when all's said and done. Well, he doesn't seem to let it worry him over much. Does he still go to sea? No, he's packed that lot in. What's he doing now, then? He sort of deals in things. What things? All sorts. Such as? I've told you all sorts. Thank you for nothing. What did he want to know about me, ma'am? He wanted to know when were a good time to catch her in. He says it's time you and him sorted one or two things out. Oh! If I've told you once about taking that fox to pieces, I've told you a dozen times. No, it's stopped. I can see that. If you can use that hand of yours to do that, you can use it at work. Well, don't talk as I was swinging the lead. This ain't me home. Anyway, they don't want me messing about like this. Neither do I. What's that you're reading? Oh, it's the uh, trial of Mary Bateman. Oh, I was a witch as a dog. The Yorkshire witch. A witch? You mean a proper one? No, not really. Just an early confidence trickster. Oh. Fancy. What did she do? She invented the first jet propelled broomstick. Yes, now, yes. you get on with what you're doing. I'm talking to our chemist. Is that part of your studies? No, I just found it in a bookshop in town. Oh. How much? Can't remember. Yes, hold Here, give us that back, Ken. Trial of Mary Bateman. Come on, it's a delicate book. Yeah, give it in. Yes, on the 24th yeah, day of October... Oh, come on, you're not you know. Yeah. Give it in. Ha-ha, <laughs> 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 Well, fancy your chance. If that isn't the dizzy limit, didn't remember how much it was, eh? Well, if you didn't want me to know, you should have rubbed this out. Rare, one pound. Do you mean to stand there and tell me that you've thrown away 20 shillings on well, that? Well, don't wave it around like that. It's I've nothing very good. Heard of such a be thing. Careful. careful, I will be careful. I'll be careful I don't catch something. You never know what a chatty old thing like that might be. Yes. 
And don't, for goodness sake, let your father find out. I can't. I wouldn't even care if it was new. Well, it's a collector's item. Well, it's all the same to me. As far as I'm concerned, it's a pound thrown away. Well, it's my own money. I earned it on the post. Well, you'd have done better to get yourself some new underpants. Anyway, I've told you. If your father finds out, he'll go mad and tear his shirt. Well, what's he got to do with it? He's him? got plenty to do with him and be told. Look, it's an investment. That's not how your dad will see it. Oh, while we're on the subject, will you please stop arguing with him about the atom bomb? Can't you agree to differ for one? Yeah, you might try telling that to him. Well, if you must what? know, I already have done. If I don't get a move on, I'll never get the shopping in before I have to start. I've left some corned beef for your dinner and there's some tomatoes in the cupboard. Oh. What are you going to do today? Oh, Sue's coming round a bit later on. Oh, smashing, won't she be bringing the car? You keep out of this, don't want a oh, kid brother thing. Oh, dear, I don't think there's enough dinner for her here. You better sit to corn and get a no, bit more. No, it's all right. Oh, what no, kid. it's all right, I've got some of my own. Anyway, some of the others might be coming too. Well, think on you don't miss the place, though. Oh, kid, well, I remember. Do you know what happened to that old windjammer? No, which one? That waterproof thing with a zip. You had it last, mate, don't ask me. Whatever do you want that for? Oh, I was just wondering where it was, that's all. Have we got any empty treacle tins? What? Treacle tins. Treacle tins? And just what are you up to now? <whistles> hey, did you hear that? Yeah? But I'm cracking it on, I haven't. <whistles> Taking a notice, it's only one of them railway fellas. Dead common. Christina, I'm going straight back to work day after the funeral. Yeah, I'd have made a week of it. Hey, where's Janice this dinner hour? Oh, she's staying in and making one of them can-can petticoats on the sly. Mm. Hello. Dad ignorant. <laughs> Two dandelion of the burdock, one sarsaparilla and one unbrewed condiment. That'll be a shilling, please. Well, I think you ought to know what's going on in your front step. What? Two young women eating balm cake butties and flaunting themselves for all the world to see. They're not doing any harm. <clears throat> How do you reckon the funeral went yesterday? Oh, I thought it all went off very well. Very well? And her only daughter, the chief mourner, sitting there in a bright red swag without so much as a black patch on her sleeve. And don't tell me she couldn't have it died. 48 hours, that's the time it takes to die morning orders. Always has done. I don't think people go in for that much anymore. Oh, I you think those old ones know now, but I'll tell you this, when I went to my mother's, I was stiff with black thread. I see you didn't pull your shop blind down. Yesterday. No, but I drew me upstairs curtains. Oh, yes, I noticed that, but Mrs. Lappin always drew the shop blind with the cartridge you went past. Did they ask him to see her? No, they did not, and if they had, I wouldn't have gone. I think it's morbid. Well, you guessed at wreath, didn't you? Of course I did. Well, then, you've the right to. Ooh, I've just had a whiff of a filthy smell. Has somebody brought something bad back? No. Ooh, you could have kidded me. All right, all right, Ina, we'll get your meaning. You wicked old beesum. Oh, and while I'm here, I'll take a bottle of disinfectant. The strongest you've got. I've got some fumigating as wants doing. <sighs> what do you know about Factories Act, anyway? Nothing. All I know is if you mention it to them, they get all hot and bothered. All I said to them were, if you're not careful, I'll report you to the Factories Act. And I'll tell you something else for nothing, Martha Longworth. Your precious Lily's was only knocking up 17 quid a week because he's fool enough to work nights. I've heard she's got religious mania. Hey! That was Dinama's boyfriend. Oh, no, is it? Here it is. Stopped outside her house. Ooh, mind a night out with him. Oh, I wouldn't. It's dead toffee nosed. Hello, have you come to take us for a totto then? Shut up, Glennis. Have you no respect for the dead? And give me the body back. How are you? All right. Aren't you going to invite me in for a minute? Why should I? What's 
mother. Don't you know? I'm afraid I don't. Why, have you been away somewhere? No. Well, where have you been hiding yourself, then? Uh, nowhere in particular. Oh, I see. Did the wreath get there all right? Oh, yes, it got there. Very nice and showy. One of the biggest. The undertaker nearly got it mixed up with mine. Yes, it was very nice. Thank you very much. Look, Chris. I was terribly sorry when I heard. Were you? I'd have come around sooner, but... Uh, but what? Well, I, I, I didn't think you'd be wanting visitors at a time like that. Oh. Oh, well, thanks for calling now. Chris! Look, I don't know what you want to say, but I'm telling you straight, I don't want to hear Listen, it. Let me come in. Just no, please. you can't. Look, I, I know you're upset, but if, well, if there's anything I can do to help you, you know you You're mean... a bit late, aren't you? Well, I mean, it's taken you long enough getting here. Well, now, look, you know. It's what with the holidays and... Yes, well, now we know where we stand, don't we? Oh, by the way, did you have a good time last night? Last night? That's what I said. Was it a good picture? Because if it was, I might go myself later on in the week. Might help to take me out of myself for a bit. I don't know, I don't know what picture you're talking about. The one you went to see last night at the Luxie with that hefty blonde. News travels, you know. Well, that, look, look, I can explain. Yes, well, what? you can explain till the cows come home, but I won't be here to listen. I've tried to kid myself about you, Malcolm Wilkinson, but it's no good. You think you're it and I'm now to bound, and it's no use pretending you don't, because you do. You've got some very big ideas about yourself, you have, but you'd better forget them, because you're nothing. You're all top show, and that's all you'll ever be, and I've got me dinner to get. And get up our step! <laughs> saying is we've got to clear this lot up before my mother gets home. Has she gone a bit about making a mess? Oh no, she's not bad, but if she knew what we're up to, she might start fussing. You, know. you mean she doesn't agree with us about all this? No, it's not that, but oh, she might blow her top if she knew what we're going to do. Oh, one's gone on crooked. Oh, never mind your eyes. Here, go and stir that glue oh, for a bit. I'm boiling. How are you doing, Sue? Not badly. She can't let her for toffee. Now, look here. I'm not an art student. Ken and I are only volunteers. Yeah. Oh, half the people at art school can't let her either. Well, speak for yourself. Oh, sign writers are nothing to write home about. You think you're going to... Oh, now oh. look what you've done. Oh, it'll be all right. Honestly, you, you two. Quit anyway. messing about. It's Lily Dog. She could be home any minute now. Hey, hey Lily Dog, did you say? Yes. <laughs> hey, where are you going? To try one. Hey, Milo. Don't be so ridiculous. Oh, you might as well talk to yourself, Kenneth. Anyway, why bother? He can't do much harm. Huh? Oh, no, he can only stink the yard out, that's all. Hey, what he was that? What? That noise. Kenneth, the paper lad been... Oh, I didn't know he got company. Oh, whatever's that? Well, it's a poster. Ban the bomb. The lettering's a bit better on that one. We're marching in a torchlight procession. Tomorrow night. With guitar. You might be. Ah, oh, Ken certainly isn't. Who says? I say. You don't think for a moment your father would let you do a thing like that? Well, I can't see it's got anything to do with it's him. It's got plenty to do with him, and you can get all this stuff out of this house. You know what's wrong with your generation, don't you? Yes. We have children like you. I've warned you once and for all. If you think you're going to get me take sides in this, well, you're not. Ta -da! Get out. Well, that's a nice thing, I must say. When you get to your age, and I can't so much as turn it back for five minutes without you getting up to something. Well, what would your mother say? She's already said it all. Look, give us ten minutes and we'll clear up. I should just think you will clear up. And while you're at it, you can wash that tash off. If that's the way you go on, no wonder you're always complaining about getting spots. Well, uh, can I help? You know, get me out. No, get that man. No, 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 no,
How much do I owe you? Oh, go on, have it on me. And don't be soft, ma'am. How much? Oh, shut up. It's a present, I tell you. If you go on like that, I might change my mind. <laughs> Thank you very much. In my day, we had to make do with smocks and like it. Well, did you have these, then? No. Don't know. I suppose they did. Them could afford it. <sighs> what sort of layout did you have for me? Layout? Just listen it. Where do you think I laid my hands on the money for layouts? Your grandma Tanner knitted me some bits and pieces and Phyllis Hanson met me there Jeanette's christening robe and that was about that. How do you feel about being a grandma? Well, it hasn't really hit me yet. Oh, it must have. Well, it isn't as though it's here, is it? I mean, well, what do you want me to say? Just wondered if it made you feel different, that's all. Well, it's not going to stop me dying my hair, if that's what you mean. Come on, let's go tatter to your grandma Tanner's. Oh, here. <sighs> you know, it doesn't seem possible. It doesn't seem like five minutes ago since that blackout was on. Why the blackout? Ooh, best years of my life, that blackout. Every time I think of it, it reminds me of Yankee whiskey. You know, when we had that power cut in the street the other day, I went outside. It was as black as pitch. And I started thinking of Yankee whiskey. It almost tasted in my mouth. Isn't it funny? Daft little things. The other day, some woman or other had asked for Allentown Jail and Housewife's Choice. Brought Roy straight back to me. Do you think he really had a petrol station in Nebraska? Had he as like. The stories I could tell if I'd a mind to. Oh, go on. Go on what? Tell him. Ah, oh, you wouldn't be interested. Oh, you are aggravating. I tell you more than most mothers tell their daughter. You sit there simpering, you won't say... Oh, there's your clubman. What, on a Wednesday? The point is that if I did start oh, telling yeah. you something, you wouldn't let go till you'd heard the lot. There's something shady going on here. Seven years ago, you mean? Hey, ma'am, we've got a visitor. Oh. Me dad. Thank God we've finished. Eh? Hey? I never could abide men who were going bold. Well, there's plenty of scat. Ah, that's what they say. But you know what they're really thinking? I wonder what he was like when he had all his hair. Would you, Belinda? Oh, I don't blame you for wondering. I mean, they do change when you haven't seen them for 15 years, don't they? Oh, by the way, you're going to be a grandfather. Oh? Oh, it's all above board. Did I say different? No, I didn't give you much chance, did I? I know you of old. What can we do for you? Well, I just thought that, that the time... You and I might have a little chat on you. You thought it to our Dennis last night, didn't you? He's a fine lad, a credit to you. Was that meant to be an insult? Linda, would you mind skedaddling? There's a good girl. <laughs> ordering people around. Well, this is going to be a conversation between grown-ups. Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about shocking Snow White here. Uh, Elsie, have you ever thought about a divorce? Why? I, I want one. Why? I want to get married again. Have you got to? You don't alter, do you? No, what grounds have you got? Uh, desertion. Oh, come off. Oh, I want to do the it. decent thing. I want you to divorce me. Nothing doing. Why? Because. But I want to marry somebody else. Oh, do you? You're hard, Elsie. You're brassy and you're hard. Don't you dare talk to my mother like that. She's not hard at all. It's you that's hard. What about my wedding? Somebody must have told you I was going to get married, but not so much as a lousy present from you and me Uncle Albert had to give me away. Well, what's your wedding got to do with this? Plenty. I hadn't got no money for a dress. So she bought it for me, only she hadn't got no money either, so she had to do it on the weekly. So you say one more thing about her and I'll wang you in the face. And who do you think paid his fines and kept him when he come out of jail? I don't suppose he told you that, did he? shut up, you! Look here, you. I've kept house and looked after two kids and no thanks to you. I don't care tuppence for you, but you're not going to get off scot-free. And why did I leave you? Just answer me that. Oh, well, if you want to rake up the past, I'll tell you, you left me because you wanted to. And I was glad to get shut of you. Well, you'd get alimony, wouldn't oh, you? Oh, you can keep it. I may not have been all I should have been, but at least nobody can say that I left my children alone. They may as well never have had a father for all the good that you've been to them. And if we're going back in the past, you've been no plaster saint either. Oh, you won't divorce me no, for desertion? No, I won't. Well, I, I, I'll divorce you. Well, I'll chance that. On what grounds? You'll find out. Oh, now, sure, it's all right. Come on, come on, come on. Charlotte, I didn't want to talk business on the step. 
Was it about the policy? Ah, that's right, yes. Oh, have you brought it, then? Well, there are one or two formalities that have to be got through first, you see. Oh, I see. I have a claims form. You'll have to fill this in, and then I'll be wanting the policy itself and a copy of the death certificate. Oh, well, you'd better come inside. All oh, right, thank you. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to mind this time like this, but it's got to be gone through sooner or later. Well, where will I get a copy of the death certificate well, from? You go around at Registrar's office, they'll let you have one. Well, is there always this palaver? Here, me, let me have a look at this form. Now, look, you sign here, you see. Mm. And there. Oh, well, that seems fairly straightforward. How long will it take for the money to come through? Oh, it shouldn't be a matter of days. Of course, my inspector will have to go over the claims form first. Yes, well, I'll get this signed and I'll get you that other thing. Don't mind telling you. The sooner I can lay my hands on a bit of money, the better. She keeps looking at me. Ah, well, if she looks at me, I'll stare her out. I saw all this coming in the cards. Hey, Conceptor, have you heard the latest? What about that Elsie Tanner? She's got a fancy man. Who told you that? Nobody told me. I saw him myself coming sneaking out of the house, all dressed up with an Homburg hat. Oh, it might have been anybody. Now, he wasn't the clubman. He wasn't the police. I know the type of visitor that goes to that house. No, he was a fancy man, all dipped up like a lunch bowl, with an Homburg hat. Look, I don't think you ought to go around saying things like that about people until you're sure of your facts. Well, I'm not taking any advice from the likes of you, Paddy. Now, listen here you to me. You can't tell I... me anything about no, me. Now, let us have some order in here, please. Will you go and do the glasses in the public? There you are. Form for yourself. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Annie, come what here. What do you want? Don't look now, but there's somewhat different oh. about Harry Hewitt. I can't make up my mind what it is. I said, don't look now. He's seen us looking at him. Oh, don't be such a big soft thing. How can I tell him what's different about him if I don't look at him? It's them clothes. There's something funny about them. Conceptor. That's right. Get the whole pub on it. What is it, Mrs. Walker? Now, don't do it straight away, but take a sort of casual look at Mr. Hewitt. There's something peculiar about him, and we can't make out what it is. Oh. No. Is it his hat? Well, it could be. Could very well be. But I'd be lying if I said I knew what it was exactly. Oh, well, you'd better go back. Oh. Why don't you go and ask him? No, I'm loaded if I will. <laughs> He'll think I'm a right nosy boy. Well, he might well be right at that. Who started all this anyway? Mm. <laughs> What's your stout like? It's very nice. Oh, you've got no taste, you haven't. Now, I can tell us as never lasers a thing to my lips whether it's off or not. Funny. I can't put a name to it. Mm, now you come to mention it. It's that Irish piece. This is old stock. Deliberate, that is. Absolutely deliberate. Why don't you go and take it back? That's just what she's waiting for. If I go to that bar, she'll have the old pub round me. Then she'll bring out a fresh bottle and she'll ask somebody else to taste it. Somebody neutral like. And when this somebody or other says it's all right, which of course it will be, she'll get that sly look on her face. I know her. What ought we to do about it? Well, I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to drink this stout and we're going to crack on. We're enjoying it. She'll be watching us, don't you fret. And when she sees us smacking our lips, she'll wonder what she's done wrong. Hey, you're a right one, you are, Ina. I just wouldn't give her the satisfaction. Good help. Once, but I've never had bad words since. <laughs> <laughs> and you're the, hey, hey, you're a daft article, Harry. By the way, is that one of them new winter uniforms? Uh, no. Uh, looks different somehow. Uh, it is. More like an inspector. That's right. You, you don't mean to say they've raised you. Yeah. Hey, chava. Hey, well, honey, honey, come here. Yeah, no, what do you think? Right. They've made him an inspector. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What'll you have? Double whiskey, though. <laughs> 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 <laughs>